Welcome to another match preview. The Blades are back. Sheffield United at Bramall Lane, a 3 p.m. kickoff against Derby County. This comes after a 2 0 away win at the MKM Stadium against Hull City, where we saw some lovely short range passing, movement, and possession based football. Until United got bored of that and said, actually, we'll take it from here, lads. Score two goals. There you go. You can play with your ball again now. Thanks to Panenka Bar and Grill, our pre-match bar, for sponsoring this preview. Head there before United's match this Saturday. You'll find Panenka at the entrance to New Era Square, just minutes away from beautiful downtown Bramall Lane. Now, stats are for... I'm trying to think of a word I can get away with that rhymes. Uh, I'm sure you're already there. Anyway, uh, here's the stats for Hull versus Sheffield United as we look back on our previous match to show you that all the areas many believe are important to dominate games, to win games, to control games are not always that important. Hull had more possession, 68% woof. Had more touches in the box, had more shots and won more corners. 16 to United's three. And we scored from two of them. It actually gives you a bit of hope for the next time we go up against a possession-based side or meet one in the cup. Because, you know, we saw a, a lot of that against us in the Premier League. But Wilder hadn't quite found the recipe, hadn't quite found the way around it. On Friday night, he and the players really did find a way around it. It was, at times, a joy to watch. Also, a word on the support for our centre-back, Anel Ahmed Hodzic. He will remember that Blades backing for the rest of his life. And I'm sure I wasn't the only one who got a little emotional at the full-time whistle. Sheffield United, we're in form. We're uh, giving them from S6, of course, that two-point head start and, uh, and several years as well. And, and now we welcome the Rams of Derby County. We're not quite in the same form. It won't be an easy one. There are no easy games in this absolutely crazy world of the championship and anything can happen at any moment. Just look at QPR's last gasp equaliser at Hillsborough. And I have many times. So now let's talk Blades team use and get a predicted lineup for this one. Gotta say our bench is looking stronger and stronger as each week goes by. It is a fairly thin squad. As we saw in the League Cup against Barnsley, some fringe players are not going to be pushing too hard for first team minutes. But then there's others who really will. This was our bench at Hull. Brewster, Campbell, Brooks, Davies, the goalkeeper, uh, McCallum, Norrington Davies, Peck, and uh, Femi Sariki came on. And actually, I thought wheels for feet impresses me the more I see him. Also, I uh, can't forget Jamie Shackleton, who I really think I'm going to warm to, especially if he gets meaningful minutes this season. Tom Davies, hopefully his road to recovery continues to be a positive one with more setbacks. And I think, you know, there is a good midfielder in there and it could be like a new signing if we can get him fit and seeing regular first team minutes in a competitive midfield. It won't be easy for him to find a way in. You know, the form of Callum O'Hare, Vinny Souza, Oli Arblaster, Palmer, Brooks, Jezra and Raksaki. This will be just as tough as getting into his old Everton midfield. And we'll see what ends up happening there. But hopefully he's back soon. Uh, Jamie Shackleton and Sam McCallum. Cases for them to push for starts. McCallum scored a hull. Looked very good when he came on. Is there even a scenario in the league where we ever start with Burrows and McCallum? Can you see the, how that would work? I don't know. Jezra and Raksaki versus Andre Brooks. That debate will run and run like the pair of them are fond of doing. We have a fun comparison video and audio podcast from Ollie. Check that out after this. Now, when we talk about this Derby County match, I'm thinking lineup likely to be either very similar or exactly the same. What do you think Chris Wilder will go with for Derby County at home? I've gone with that steady pair of hands that is Michael Cooper. What a bit of business, by the way. It is early days for Coops, but here's the stat line. Uh, three appearances, two clean sheets, 88% save percentage, 70% pass completion. He does look good with his feet. And even better, he's not on loan. Alfie Gilchrist, Picked up a late booking in our last match, and uh, ugh, that could easily have been a red card. Seems to get better and better, though, with each game. He's going to be a fan favourite. Never fall in love with a lone player. We'll not fall in love with him, but I think we'll like him. We'll like him a lot. Harry Suter, Ahmed Hodzic, Burrows, and that could complete the back line. But Jack Robinson, gosh, it's not going to be easy to get back in. Jack Robinson, by the way, has played left-back previously in his career uh, in a back four. So, you know, 
I know we've got Reese Norrington Davies. I know we've got McCallum. I know we've got Burroughs. I'm saying if there was like a virus sweeping the camp, injuries, suspensions, it's not beyond the realms. Uh, Brooks, Vinicius Souza, Blaster, Harmer and O'Hare is what I've gone with. I know Brooks, I'm giving him the nod. I think he's really, really impressed me and more. Let me know your 11. Now, opposition team news. To look at our opponents, Derby County, here's Rams Talk. Hi, guys. Callum here from the Rams Talk podcast team. Just going to give you a bit of insight into Derby County this season and uh, what you can expect from uh, from us going into the game at Bramall Lane. Five games played, three wins already, two defeats, uh, both coming away from home. Um, started uh, the season really, really strong, um, which is unlike Derby County because we normally start quite slow. Um, so to get three wins already under the belt just gives us a bit of breathing space. Uh, and uh, we've been really happy in some of the uh, the games already this season. Um, the most notable one being Bristol City. Uh, that's probably been our best performance under Paul Warren under the new era of Derby County since administration. Um, back in the championship and uh, the aim of this season is really consolidation. Want to stay up and, and then push on from there. So to already get three wins um, it just gives the pressure off Paul Warren and the team. Um, and uh, we'd like to go into Bramwell Lane to break that duck and get our first point away from home. Style of play, uh, I'd probably say a counter-attacking style of play is the best way of describing Derby County. Um, we like to give uh, the opposition the ball and then counter-attack of any mistakes you guys make, essentially. Uh, using the pace we have up top and uh, the dynamic midfield that we have. Um, the, the, the weaknesses of that, however, is in giving the ball away to you guys. We do sit really, really deep, um, which then means that, yes, you soak up the pressure, but it also means that you're almost camped on the 18-yard box and uh, we then struggle to get out. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, this weekend we don't do that. Um, Danger Mim, I probably would have said David Ozo would have been up there, um, but unfortunately he did get... Uh, injured against Cardiff yesterday, which means he won't be there against uh, you guys at Bramall Lane. So I'll probably say Kenzo Halbmine from AZ Altmar is our main danger man this weekend. He's a man in form. Um, he, we brought him in and he's really technically gifted, really runs that midfield and uh, really creates all the opportunities we get uh, and has really picked up um, in the goal threat as well. He's scored a couple of goals this season already himself. Um, and then um, he likes to thread the ball through to our front three, Jerry Yates, Nathaniel Mendes, Lang, uh, Caden Jackson. Um, so all three uh, pacing, dynamic. And uh, what we'd like to do and see is do, um, them doing that away from home. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what happens, see if we can get a point. Uh, if we can, you guys have started really well. Thanks for having me on. And uh, we're looking forward to this weekend coming back to Bramall Lane um, back in the championship. Well, thank you very much to Rams Talk. Now, when we talk about the Rams, we talk about player connections, players that have played for both. This is brought to you by Parrot Peel. Parrot Peel is a virtual band. Many of their members are Blades. Check out parrotpeel.com. Now, I always pick four players that have played for both. There's loads more. Ben Osborne, currently with his boyhood club of Derby County. He signed for United in 2019, made 134 appearances, got five goals, six assists. He joined the Rams this season. The fans seem to have really taken to him. Kieran Freeman, a brilliant Blades right wing back with good output in goals and assists. Now with Hartlepool for United, he made 141 appearances, scored 17. Not bad from back in defence and created 14 goals. John Brayford, John the Beard Brayford, also friend of this channel, a FA Cup hero. I mean, that beard. We had him in 2014 on loan. Then in 2015, he's not just any fullback. He's John Brayford. We signed John on a permanent deal. Check out our chat with him on our YouTube channel and audio podcast. It's so much fun. He is just a, f a football lover, a lover of watching and playing. He's currently the Burton Albion first team coach, so he's going to get to watch even more of it. And we conclude with another we've got a fun interview with, David McGoldrick. Did he joined United in 2018 after a trial, you imagine that, where he made 136 appearances, scored 30. And he got 12 assists as well. But there's a lot more to Dizzy's game than goals. He joined Derby in 2022. And uh, currently at Notts County, what a player. Still scoring as well. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, just, I do just wonder. Yeah, I mean, With Derby, by the way, uh, 45, bagging 25 goals. He contributed seven assists. Now, who can you think of? Let me know. Now, let's see what some of our Patreon members think when it comes to score predictions. If you'd like your team shared on here, your score prediction, and to receive a whole host of other benefits as well as support us, head to patreon.com slash chef united way. It really helps us to continue to do 
what we do. So patrons, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. Steve says 3-1 Blades, Harmer Moore and Oliver Arblaster with the goals. Uh, James says 3-0 Blades, two for Moore. He needs that. And Anel, can you imagine? If that happens, we're on the pitch. We're not We're not on the pitch. Don't encroach the playing area. Uh, Ewan says 4-1 Blades. Adam's gone with 5-0 Sheffield United. More Burrows, Arblaster, O'Hare and Harry Suter. You'd imagine if it's Suter scoring, that'll be from a set piece. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're getting us an audio podcast with this match preview, as ever, up the Blades. Ole, ole, ole. Ole, ole, ole.